when something is more colorful, when something is brighter, when something is louder, those are usually signs from your higher self. Hi guys, happy May. It's May already, I don't know how. I'm not gonna lie, I did not complete some of those goals that I had in my April projections because I actually didn't realize April was about to be over and now it's May. Trying to figure out how to make these projections and reflections videos the most helpful for you guys because it's very helpful to, to me to reflect on the past month and then to kind of set goals for the next month and I just, I guess I hope that you guys are doing it with me when you're watching this kind of thing, you know? So I have over here in my box, I keep it really nice and neat. By the way, I love when everybody sends me their pictures of themselves with their infinite agenda and tags me, it makes me so happy. So many of us have the same notebook now, it's really cool. If you haven't gotten yours yet, you still can get it for 50% off with Lior 50. I'll put it here and down in the description below, there will be a link for you. There's three different colors, I like the pink and rose gold one it's legit it's the most high quality agenda notebook calendar schedule or whatever bullet journal that I've ever had so I have my page saved with the little elastic that it comes with and right here I took some notes about April so at the end of every month the infinite agenda have has like bulleting pages and it says this month's infinite winnings include so you get to reflect on your month and you get to just really think about what was what were the good things that happened so first let's start a bit with reflecting on april because it was a cool month i want to tell you this small cute little manifestation story manifestation success story i did not finish the book uh feeling good by david burns but i did learn a lot about depression and i also gained some insight into new cognitive techniques to battle anxiety and depression and there are techniques in there that i think that i can create law of attraction centric videos based on those to combat mental disorders, men mood disorders. I definitely learned a lot from that book. If anybody else read it, let me know what you thought. My favorite thing about the past month was that we did a live full moon ritual. I enjoyed that so much and everybody that was on live, we had like 600 people watching live. If you guys like it or if anybody didn't get a chance to make it to this full moon ritual, I could do that maybe a couple times a month. I could try to get that in. I really enjoyed it. It was really fun. It was an hour of live streaming. When we're on live, I get to answer questions and I get to talk to you and I really enjoy that. I felt more like a boss in April because, you know, I'm getting the merch set up and I'm having people helping me with that and I have this product that I'm working on that I can't wait to tell you guys about. And it's just really cool to be making decisions and to be creating things and to have people who care about my opinion and who want to work in order to make my dreams a reality. So that's that's been amazing. I talked about this in my live stream, but if you weren't there, I had a very, very clear message from the universe towards the end of the month, towards the end of April. I was asking for some clarity with some personal matters. And I asked the universe, it was a Saturday night, and I was like, please guide me. Thank you for my clarity. Thank you for my guidance. I'm admitting that I need some help and I need a sign. I need a, a clear sign. The very next morning, I had this sudden urge to watch this old show that I used to watch um, as a kid. I'm sure a lot of you watched it also, Avatar The Last Airbender. And I watched the chakra episode, which is honestly, I learned at like 10 years old what chakras are, thanks to this show. If you know how I feel about signs and synchronicities, I'm very big on asking for a sign and then being very present because when something is more colorful, when something is brighter, when something is louder, those are usually signs from your higher self. I'm getting ready for my day on Sunday and I'm listening to the show, I'm watching the show, but something stood out for me very, very clearly. It was the guru in the show and he said this, you are to be a positive influence in this world, you have to learn to forgive yourself. And he was talking about, I believe, the sacral chakra at this point and how um, certain feelings are holding me back from being happy, basically. And not that I'm not happy, no, I'm a very, very happy person, but we all have things that we go through. And I needed this message, and the second that I received this message, I felt this relief and all this tension just like drop. Let's get into how to set goals. So I'm going to just tell you guys how I set my goals. 
I've always been a very goal-oriented person and when I decide I want to do something, it goes up on my phone, on my, in my journals, in my, on my whiteboard. Wherever I can see it, that goal has to be in front of my eyes and this has been how I handle goals for years. My dad will tell you that I've never said that I would do something and then not done it. I just don't believe in giving up. I don't believe in walking away from things. Eventually it's going to get done and it's going to get done at my pace and it's going to get done well. Usually for me, goals will come to me. I'll learn something new about life or see a new opportunity or something. Someone will tell me something and I'll be like, oh, that's something I want to do. I want to do this or they'll come to me in a dream or I'll just randomly have a thought like, oh, that's a great idea. Let me do this. But if you're having trouble coming up with some goals, what's really important to do is to just sit with yourself and evaluate your desires. What is it that you want out of life? Take those big things, those really big things that you want out of life. What do you want in a year from now? What material things do you want? What experiences do you want? What do you want to see? Who do you want to meet? What do you want to create? What do you want to, what work do you want to do? What do you want to learn? Those are all goals. So I'll write down all those things after evaluating my desires. I will give a time frame for each of them and then I'll order them chronologically, like what comes first, what goal would be completed in before another goal. Sometimes goals are completed at the same time, so they're written together. And then what I will do is I'll take my long-term goals and I will create vision boards around that, usually on Pinterest. I will script about those. My long-term goals, I always use the law of attraction for them because I might not have the resources that I need to make those goals happen right now. But if I attract them, if I use the universe, if I ask for help from the universe, the sources will come to me, the right people are going to come to me, the doors will open. That's just how it always happens. So your big goals, the ones that you have no idea how to get there, that's the ones, that, those are the goals that you really want to make sure you're manifesting. My short term goals, I will break down into small little goals and then every day I'll do three things that gets me closer to these short term goals. I hope that made sense and that was helpful for anybody that's struggling with goal setting. I've been asked to do a video about setting goals for a very long time so if that wasn't enough, I would love to make a full video on it for you. So before we get on to the main projections part of this video, I want to tell you my little law of attraction success story. This wasn't attracted intentionally, it was unintentional, but those are the best. So you guys know that for the past two months I've been saying I need to take these cardio bar classes, but for some reason I just did not want to take them. The deadline to use that group on that I bought was approaching, and at first I was upset, I was like, wow, I hate just throwing money down the, down the trash, like that's just really wasting money for nothing but honestly i would pay money not to go to these classes i just don't want to do them i'm not interested i think it was two nights ago and my groupon was to, supposed to expire the next day now i've had groupons expire before and this has never happened to me i'm sure that it's happened to a lot of you i don't know if this is their policy or they do it once in a while but um i let it go i was just like okay you know what it's fine and i was thinking okay how do i get myself back to working out constantly like I used to. I miss yoga. I really miss yoga, but I'm over core power. I don't really like the whole uh, wetness of Bikram yoga. I kind of like just like vinyasa flow and just really having the chance to connect to my body, my mind-body connection. And I didn't really get that from core power, but I did get it from this one yoga studio that I used to go to. I love that studio. I stopped going there for some reason. I don't know why. And then I joined my friends at core power. So I was thinking about it. And I was like, you know what? I think it's time to go back. Yeah, I'm down to go back. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it because it's going to nourish my soul. And that's the most important thing. And also get my body moving again because I'm literally on the computer 16 hours a day and that's not healthy. So I woke up in the middle of the night at like 4 a.m. I usually, I was trying to wake up at 5.30, 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., but I woke up a little early. And I was looking through my phone and I had a notification from Groupon that it said something like, uh, hate, hate expired Groupon, so do we use this money and trade it in for something else in the next like 24 hours something like that and i woke up and i was like oh okay let me check out what, what else there is i was like i was happy because first of all I, I had let go of wasting that money i let go of that money i was like okay it's gone whatever life moves on but now i had a chance to use it again i go to um classes and fitness or whatever it's called and the second class that they were offering was to the yoga studio that i had just decided 
hours before that to go to. Now, I had never seen this yoga studio on Groupon ever. I traded it in, I traded my cardio bar in for an unlimited month of my favorite yoga studio. And I went today to yoga for the first time in a very long time. And that shows you that when it's something that you actually want to do, you're gonna do it. Now, so one of my main goals is going to be to take a few classes a week. Okay, now we're getting into May. I love, this makes me just feel like it's a brand new month, which it is, and I just feel excited to plan things out to goal set and to just get things done. So if you haven't seen any of the other projection and reflection videos in my infinite agenda, there are three categories. Now, if you don't have your own journal, you can just write these down and work through it. The first category says, this month I'm excited to accomplish these short-term goals. And then you can make a list of the short-term goals you wanna accomplish. Now, writing down your goals makes you, I'm pretty sure it was 80% more likely to do them and to actually go after them. Write down your goals by hand. I really truly believe that writing things down by hand creates more magic than writing it on your phone. My most important goal of May is to create and finish, edit, upload, and announce and release the Love Mastery program. I have so many people asking for it that I know I need to get it together ASAP. So I have a deadline and my goal is this month, by the end of the month, to have it released. That is goal number one and it super supersedes all my other goals for the month. I want to read two books. I want to read The Little Prince in English and in French. It's short enough to be able to do that. If you haven't heard of The Little Prince, it's supposed to be kind of like The Alchemist, the story, like the hero's tale kind of thing. Um, I heard amazing things about it. I started to read it in French. I think I will relate to it more when I read it in English. I also want to read The Mastery of Self by Don Miguel uh, Ruiz Jr. That whole family writes the most amazing books. I read really good reviews about this. The book is on my Amazon shop if you want to see all my book recommendations. And another goal I have is to create some videos on chakra chakras because I, ha I keep having all these signs telling me that I need to get more into that kind of metaphysical part of this channel. I know that we all love that, but I really do like to stick to like self-development, self-growth, but chakras, energy, vibrations, all that is a part of my daily life. And I know that you're all very, very interested about it. So it's time to get that information out there for you. On to May projections. So this month I will grow closer to these long-term goals. You can write that and you can, if you don't have your own beautiful infinite agenda, you can just do it on a, your own journal. It's just as good. So I wrote two things. I wrote, I will grow closer to buying a house because I've just suddenly decided that I want to buy my own house or condo or something. Growing closer to that just means saving more money. Second long-term goal that I wrote down is I will grow closer to helping people find their soulmates. That's when I created the love program, what I remind myself of every time I sit at my computer to write notes, every time I sit at the at my camera to take a, to record a video for this program, I remind myself of the end goal. The end goal is to help people find love. The end goal is to help people attract a relationship, a soulmate, a date, a husband, a wife, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, self-love. That is my goal. And when I remind myself of that before I sit down to work, I feel like I am divinely connected and I do my best work. When I lose sight of the end goal of my purpose for doing this, I'm all over the place. So I just have to keep reminding myself and I'm actually going to put a little post-it on my computer to remind myself why I'm doing it. The last kind of prompt that my infinite agenda gives you is in my wildest dreams, I'm looking forward to receiving. What are you looking forward to receiving in your wildest dreams? Remember that whatever you believe you can have, you will have. So put your dreams down on paper, your wildest dreams, the craziest things you could want, the most out there things, and you're getting a little bit closer to making those things happen. Now I'm gonna read you one quote and we're gonna Wrap it up. This is a quote for April 30th and Tuesday, May 1st. In order to succeed, we must first believe that we can, which is literally what I just said. Synchronistic or what? Okay, my loves, thank you so much for planning out your month with me and for reflecting on the past month. It's been really fun. Remember that if you don't have your own infinite agenda yet, you can still get it for 50% off with Lior 50. I'm gonna put it away in this 
gorgeous case. One of my goals this month also is to check in with my infant agenda on every day because it has um, little lines that say like, what, what are you grateful for? And I like to fill those out. They keep me on track. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, until my next video, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye.